the fact of the matter is one of the saddest comments ever made in the last 10 years was not by any politician because they they are experts at it was by the supreme court during the farm protests that were going on and i think that typifies the way our uh, you know the national conscience is and how we we are conditioned to think one day it is the way of the anarchy the supreme court said that all we see are the people who are protesting against the farm laws where are the people who are for the farm laws we don't see them this was such a sad statement i was stunned leave alone an adult making it the supreme court of india what did the supreme court of india want that 250 million farmers leave farming in far flung telangana tamil nadu kerala walk or come by train to uh, uh, is it pieces tilak marg and protest there that they are for the farm law is that how you want the country to run all of you are wealth creators your job is to create wealth create education wealth through education you have your jobs to do in a logical sane world intelligent people who are creating or doing something for the nation should never come on to the streets that is why i say we are a banana republic ever since we became a republic because we expect people decent people law abiding people people who are earning who are creating wealth for the nation to leave all that come on to the streets and protest something that should logically be given to them and the people who block roads who do these things are mostly unemployed leftists uh, mostly who studied from my university unfortunately they are the ones who are celebrated they are the ones who, so street veto is winning nothing can be more defeating self defeating for a country just one point and i think there's a fundamental flawed premise in your argument the state is cowardly selectively yeah that's true yeah ram rahim you know yeah. if hindus were to sit there yeah yeah, yeah. then the reaction of the state would be utter masculinity totally totally and if it's non hindus who are sitting there it is completely i'm sorry to say they surrender they go supine they say walk all over us not just that sai when mulayam singh ordered firing at kar sevak later on he was proud of it they won elections despite him saying that or when indira gandhi ordered the firing of a sadhus for the cow agitation the hindu state or rather the indian state sorry not the hindu state is replete with these examples so when and this is regardless of governments by the way regardless of parties so tell me the other side knows one thing if they are shot at there is a cottage factory waiting to swing into motion which therefore will create enough noise for the government to go on the back foot one you don't have the cottage factory second you know for a fact you'll be caught alone three you know that the government becomes even more let's say bold when it is a hindu on the streets so again collective action is constantly uh, disincentivized by the fact that the the indian state finds its uh, sleeping masculinity only when the hindu is on the streets nobody else they entered the national capital of this country they removed the indian flag from red fort they put another flag there 400 policemen protecting all that were grievously injured all the cases against the people who did it were taken out